Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen's coming at you guys with a fragrance review today. We're going to be taking a look at the new Dolce & Gabbana light blue summer flanker for men this year. Love is love. This one follows up last year's light blue sun and the year before that's Italian zest. I reviewed both Italian zest and sun. I own both of them. They're actually sitting right here in front of me. Didn't really like either of those. Italian Zest, I thought, was the worst of those two. Sun is a bit better than Italian Zest, but wasn't a huge fan. Love is Love is doing things a little bit differently than the last two iterations. The last two have been really centered on citrus, lots of citrus. This one, though, taking things in a little bit of a different direction with a gelato note and a prominent green apple. In this video, we're going to take a look at the presentation like always, and then I'll break Love is Love down for you guys and let you know whether I think this is a solid release and whether I think it's better than the last couple that have come before it. So let's jump into this. All right, guys, first off, presentation time. Here is the box for Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Homme, Love is Love. Nothing doing at the top. Nothing on the sides, your ingredient info on the back of the box, your badge code on the bottom of the box. And here is the bottle. It's in your typical light blue or pour ohm bottle style by Dolce & Gabbana. Got the name of the flanker right here, Love is Love. Cap is your standard uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue pour ohm cap. Does click into place, as you can see right there. And on the bottom is where you'll find your badge code. And I'll go ahead and waste the spray for you guys so you can see how the atomizer works. There we go. So, love is love. This one to me actually opens up very unisex and leans a little bit feminine, at least as far as my personal taste goes. This one also reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense for women. So not really a huge surprise that this one <laughs> comes across unisex when it shares that similarity to a women's release in the women's light blue line of fragrances. It has a sweet citrus and green apple combo when you first spray this one on. And it's got a generous helping of amber wood that I pick up right off the top. So even though that's a base note, I pick it up right away. It sits underneath the citrus, underneath the apple, gives this kind of modern uh, fuzzy woodiness. It's very clean. It's got this semi-creamy kind of powdery vanilla that I pick up very early on. And that to me is most likely as well that gelato note. So obviously you can't take gelato or ice cream and put that into a fragrance, but the way the gelato comes across is kind of more just a mix of vanilla and, and green apple. And in a few minutes, the citrus pretty much goes away. And then you've got the apple, amberwood, and vanilla slash gelato being the main thing that you pick up from this fragrance. And it does still smell, again, unisex leaning feminine. It stays that way to me all the way through to the dry down. There's a little touch of rosemary that I pick up in here. Not too much, just a little green herbal nuance, sort of. It's like a small bit player in the fragrance, never becomes really prominent, but if you look for it, you can find it in the fragrance. Through the mid, that gelato slash ice cream, vanilla, green apple, sweet fruitiness. That's the main thing that I pick up. It's got that bit of powder in there that I mentioned from the opening through the mid as well. And then once you hit the dry down, it's mainly clean musk, uh, residual sweetness, again, vanilla, green apple, gelato, that whole thing. Just the, a little bit of the sweetness from that in the dry down. And then a little bit of that amber wood, but not too much. So love is love. Do I really find it super interesting? Nah. I really don't. The dry down to me, pretty boring. The opening, the mid, too similar to the uh, women's light blue O Intense for me. Uh, again, leaning feminine as far as the fragrance goes. It's a difference from the previous ones, the previous iterations in the light blue summer releases for men. Again, Sun and Italian Zest being the two most recent. Those are much more of like a casual, sporty, citrus-centric 
fragrance citrus centric this one going with that gelato that powdery vanilla uh, the green apple being more prominent than the citrus it definitely goes a different direction than the last two uh, but to me it's the one that I would like to wear the least. I think of the last three light blue summer releases for men, that sun is the best, last year's. And then Italian Zest after that, which I didn't like, and uh, Love is Love beneath that. Performance of this fragrance is not good for me. It's below average. Now, you may give that a little bit of a pass because it's a warm weather fragrance. A lot of times, fresh summer type scents don't last as long as your rich, deep, powerful fall and wintertime fragrances, but it's still, even taking that into consideration, is below average. Longevity for me is about four hours, and not really any longer than that, at least not in testing. It seems to turn into a skin scent after about 30 minutes or so. So in the opening, in that first you know, 20 to 30 minutes, the projection is pretty good. But then after it starts to settle in, it sits very close to the skin until it just completely disappears. As far as when you would wear this one, springtime, summertime, daytime, casual sort of fragrance, not really something I'd wanna to wear to the office personally. And for me, it wouldn't last through an office day or work day anyway. So it's just kind of a fragrance that you might spray on when you're quickly gonna run out and do something, you know, go shopping really quickly or, you know, walk around downtown or something for a couple hours and then come back to wherever you're going, I guess back to your home or, or wherever you're going. It's not the type of fragrance that you would spray on and expect for it to last throughout the day. Not gonna happen. Not a fragrance either that I would wear uh, formally. Not a fragrance that I would wear in the fall. Not a fragrance I would wear in the winter, not a fragrance I would wear at night. It's also not a fragrance that I find really all that sexy. Uh, my wife is not impressed by this one. Or her friends that have smelled this one, not super impressed either. And more than one person that has smelled this other than myself has said that it does come across feminine. So that seems to be a consensus among the people that I've talked to. So while love is love is different, at least from the last two men's uh, summer releases in the light blue line. Maybe not different from the women's, as I've talked about a couple times, so intense. But different in this situation doesn't really mean better. The claim to fame with this fragrance obviously is going to be that gelato note. Uh, the idea, I guess, of wearing uh, an icy dessert <laughs> that has melted onto your skin for some people uh, is interesting. But for me, just uh, kind of bland. So obviously with uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Love is love. In my opinion, do not buy this at retail, period. That's what I did. I actually bought it from uh, Sephora. So I paid full retail for this one. I don't suggest that you do that if at all possible. If you're interested, do sample it. I've seen that some people do seem to like it, but for me, the lack of performance and uh, the, just the way the fragrance comes across on my skin, frankly, does not do it for me. I think it's not a good buy of full retail. And even at discounters, I think that there are a lot, a lot of better fragrances for daytime casual wear in spring and summer that you can pick up 20, 30, 40 bucks. Um, if you wanna splurge, you can get things that are way, way better than this considering right now it's just at retail. And at that price, you're getting screwed. So yeah. If you're interested, sample it first. Don't pay retail prices. I know I say that a lot, but sometimes if a fragrance is really nice, you want it, you know, retail is gonna be fine. This is not fine. Don't do it. And uh, wait until it comes to discounters and pick it up then if you really want it. For me, not interested in it. It's kind of a failed blind buy, really. I, I don't know if I'd say it's, you know, one of the worst releases I've smelled this year. I think it's better than things like Azara Wanted Tonic. I think that one, really, really sucks, but uh, this one's it's not that good for me, no. And really, the men's light blue line is one I've not been super impressed with for a while. I think Owen Tense was the last one that I smelled where I said, well, this is not too bad. A lot of different situations this could work in, kind of liked what it did. That one, nice. Um, that one I think is the best one that's come out for 
quite a while. These light blue summer flankers to me are becoming almost just throwaway releases that I just don't care about. Um, maybe next year's will be better, but three years in a row now where it's been, yeah. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. Uh, if you've smelled Love is Love, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I know, like I said, some people do like it, so if you're interested, sample it, see what you think about it, but I still do suggest waiting and picking it up at uh, a discounter. And let me know which of these last light blue summer releases you think is best. For me, like I said, gonna be sun. As always, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.